Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lena and today I'm going to be discussing some inexpensive date ideas for couples. So if you want to be intentional about investing in your important relationship, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg doing it, or you have some serious saving goals, or perhaps you're getting out of debt, this video is for you. On this channel, I work to simplify money and home. So if this is content that you need in your life, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified every single time I upload a video, hit that bell. So partly I am making this video for myself because this is not my forte. I need ideas about how to be intentional with my relationship with my husband while not spending an arm and a leg and not forgetting to do the date or doing things that neither of us enjoy. So for me, I'm trying to think back, what did we do when we were dating? Like, we had no money, but somehow we ended up going on three or four dates a week somehow. I need to rethink what those things were like before we were married, what were the inexpensive dates that we went on or the things that we did on dates that were really fun, but they didn't cost us very much money. Probably my number one favorite is to go on a walk. Or perhaps you're more of a hiking person and you like extreme walking. <laughs> For me, I definitely enjoy a slow stroll around the neighborhood and it's a great time to talk, but you don't have to stare each other in the eyes and it doesn't have to be super intense, but you guys can still connect and talk about how your life is going. My next idea is to share a special treat or ice cream or root beer float. Think 50s diner, you know, the milkshake with the two straws and the teenagers. Get something that would be a little bit out of the ordinary for you guys, but share it. So this isn't a whole meal, it's a special experience, it's a special treat, perhaps it's a little bit sweet, but you are sharing it and it's not that expensive that way. So sometimes we will go to our local grocery store and get some of my favorite ice cream bars and there's four in the pack so technically you don't have to share the exact ice cream but for six dollars that's a pretty fun cheap date so how can we have the experience of going someplace like a coffee shop or an ice cream parlor having a little treat and keeping those costs really low my next tip is to do a babysitting swap. So we do this with some of our friends and we watch their kids while they're going on a date and they watch our kids when we're going on a date. So this eliminates the cost of childcare because that's another thing that can make dates really expensive. If you have children, you're gonna have to pay for childcare or you could do one of these cool babysitting swaps. It helps if everybody has the same amount of kids. I don't know how that works out when someone has more kids or less kids or whatever. My next tip is to go on a date when the grandparents are in town or when you are visiting. Yes, we know that our parents still love us, but let's face it, my son is a lot more fun than I am. So when the grandparents are visiting, they would certainly enjoy having some one-on-one -on -one time with my son and if we can utilize that and go on a date at the same time. So take advantage of that opportunity, maybe even plan in advance because it's easy for things to just run away from you and you forget like, oh, there's a free babysitter in town. We should be going on a date. Um, but try to think about that in advance if somebody is visiting so you can sneak in a little inexpensive date. My next tip is to do free local activities on your date. So going to the farmer's market or going window shopping if your husband can stand going shopping. We also have a free museum in our town. So look around for free activities that you guys could do together on your date. My next tip is to go to brunch instead of dinner. So this is not free, it's just less expensive. So when we go to dinner, it normally runs us at least $50 and that's with no extra drinks and all that stuff. But brunch can be less expensive and we can do brunch for like $30. So you can save a little bit of money by choosing a different meal to date during. So perhaps the grandparents are in town and it's the weekend and you go on a brunch date and you get in the fun experience of going to a restaurant and eating out with your spouse, but with a less of a cost than it would be to go to dinner. 
My next tip is to do a picnic lunch. So this is so you can still get an eating experience, but without the cost of eating out. So this just basically means that you're bringing your own food and maybe you've got one of those magical picnic baskets. I do not. I've seen super cool baskets and maybe you've got one of those cool checkered blankets and all the cool picnic stuff. Or maybe you're like me and you have an old lunchbox cooler. You throw some random things in there and some leftovers and you go on a picnic. So you could make this as fancy or as not fancy as you you would like and have a cool outdoor experience as long as you're not by a body of still water and there's mosquitoes totally done that too you can have a meaningful fun date without breaking the bank another fun thing to do on a date might be to go for a bike ride or a hike so this is kind of dual purpose you get to work out and you get to spend time with your spouse family bike rides are totally fun also but when it's just the two of you there's less gear there's less trailers there's less crying <laughs> you know you can just get out there and really do some biking so my next idea is to have a dream planning session and sometimes we can even do this during nap time because we don't have to leave the house to do this so this means we're thinking of our 10-year plan our 30-year plan what we want our retirement to look like, when we want our retirement, how we're gonna do whatever cool strategy. Because this is less stressful than a budgeting meeting. It's a lot more fun, at least for us, because we're just dreaming big. I love to think in future terms, you know, we're thinking, well, what would you like to do if money was no object? Or what are the next five big vacations you wanna go on? or where do you see us in 20 years? And yes, we can strategize about how we're gonna get there, but it's so much fun to dream together and it's a really bonding experience because you're working on your shared dream and that can be really special. Don't forget to write down some of your ideas and it can be really interesting to learn more about your spouse as you're doing this to see what are their priorities or what would their dream life look like or how could we do our dream life and my next tip is to go camping as a parent vacation so I actually have a whole video about how to do inexpensive vacations and I will link that for you guys and there are definitely some camping ideas in there and also some strategies for how to go camping for free so if you're interested in that definitely go and check out that video but in general even if you have to pay for camping it's definitely a cheaper parent getaway so if you're able to drop off your children at the grandparents perhaps and then you're going away on a little weekend you could have a camping weekend and that would definitely be an inexpensive extended date what is your favorite inexpensive way to date your spouse let me know down in the comments if you need more ideas like this in your life please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell please don't forget to smash that like button and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye for now.